Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, you will be able to learn how to add a workshop activity. Workshop is a powerful peer assessment activity. Students add submissions which are then distributed amongst their peers for assessment based on a grading scale specified by the teacher. How is it set up? In a course, with a turn editing on, Click Add an Activity or Resource and choose the Workshop from the Activity Chooser. Give it a name, for example, Workshop. Give it a name and if needed, a description. So you can provide instruction here. And click the Expand All to expand the settings. If you are not sure, leave everything as default. For more information regarding settings, just click the question mark icon here. Then the description will appear. Once the setting is already set up, scroll down and click the Save and Return to Course. the workshop in setup space in this space users cannot modify their submissions or their assessments teachers may use this space to change workshop settings modify the grading strategy or tweak assessment forms so as you can see in setup space there is an x in the setup space the workshop description and the instruction for submission just click here the set the workshop description and type here the description for example in submission settings you would type here the instruction for submission for example Once done, click the save and return to course. So in setup page, at the bottom of the page, you will see the description. So lastly is the assessment form. So to add assessment form, just click the this and provide an aspect one aspect 2 and if you want to add another aspect just click this blank for two more aspects so for example explain lesson 1 provide here a possible grade for example the maximum grade for this aspect is 10 once done Click the save and close button. Now that the setup space is already set up, we can now switch to the next space, which is the submission space. To do that, just click this and then the notification about submission space will appear. Students may submit their work during this space. Teachers may allocate submission for peer review. Just click the continue button. Then, as you can see, we're now here in the submission space. At the bottom of the page, you will see the instruction for submission and the submission, your submission. Aside from that, you will see the workshop Submission reports, the participants, submitted is 0, and not submitted is 5. So to add submission, just click add submission. So take note that student may submit their work during this space. 
supply the title and the submission content. For example, you can also attach a file by clicking this add icon button and upload a file but for this example i will not upload a file once done click the save changes button in the assessment phase in this space, reviewers may assess their submission they have been allocated. So at the bottom of the page, you will see your submission and workshop grades report. So as you can see, Ikangela Sakdalan submit their work on January 2021 at 11.05 a.m. Click the participants who already submitted their work. And click the assess button. Grade for aspect, choose 1 out of 10, for example, 9 over 10, and provide a comment here. For example, good job. You can also provide here a feedback. And assessment weight. Once done, click the save and close button. In the grading evaluation phase, in this space, users cannot modify their submissions or their assessments. Teacher may use the grading evaluation tools to calculate final grades and provide feedback for reviewers. So at the bottom of the page, you will see the grading evaluation method so the grading evaluation method determine how the grade for the assessment is calculated you can let it recalculate the grades repeatedly with different settings unless you are happy with the results so you can also the workshop grades reports workshop toolbox your submission and the assigned submission to assess Lastly, is the close workshop pace. This will result in the calculated grades appearing in the gradebook. Students may view their submissions and their submission assessments. So at the bottom of the page, you will see your grades here, the workshop grades reports, your submission, and the assigned submission to assess. So that would be all on how to set up the workshop activity. Thank you for watching.